What's up, my Fina loves? It's Miss Fina D coming to you all from Fina Team and News. Child, Carlos King was just telling Apollo, I'm so proud of you. Thank you for staying out of trouble and all of that during his interview. You're, you're really doing, doing well. Thank you. And listen, for me, it goes to show you that, listen, you are a man who has owned up to his mistakes, but it doesn't define you as a person. And the beauty of you is you're able to walk, walk away from a situation, serve your time, and, and not make that the end of your story. Right. You know what I'm saying? So kudos to you for that. Thank you. And, and for showing people that that doesn't mean you have to stay in that position. Because you know there's a lot of people who come home. They It's hard to be embraced. Right by the workforce and society. Right. And obviously, you have a lot of people supporting you, me being one of them, right. who really wants to see you do well. You are doing well. Thank you. Now, this incident happened on March 11. She called the cops on March 11. Carlos King posted his interview on March 26, meaning he probably filmed it a few days or a few weeks, a few days or a week or so after this situation. So you never know what people are going through while they're sitting there and talking to you but Paula did hint to certain things going on within their marriage and their relationship that's what makes it even bad i mean that's the first time it's been publicized but you know i've had little little snippets little things that's happened in my relationship with shireen that's not not the best right which is why now because it's so public she's oh, yeah. dealing with it differently yeah. on a different level well, and well although this happened a few months ago it's public now so let's talk about it and also there's a possibility that carlos probably also filmed that before all of this happened you never know but based on like i said how apollo answered some of his questions you can tell that something serious is going on behind the scenes so let's get into what exactly happened between apollo and his wife i mean they are still together because they filmed allegedly a few scenes of uh, married to medicine together after all of this happened so you never know what these people one moment they're together the next moment they are not all of this happened in march so it looks like they are working through it so we shall see apparently they were supposed to go back to court recently to see if you know his charges what he was actually being charged with and if he had to serve any jail time and things like that and that is the reason why the story is going public so let's get into what apollo did allegedly apollo was arrested after his wife accused him of getting physical with her according to court documents shireen called police on apollo on march 11 so this happened since march and it's coming out in july the police report said apollo wife listed she told officers that she had just came home from a bar with friends and had three alcoholic drinks she said they started having a verbal argument about how they were cheating on each other shireen said during the argument apollo showed her a video of her kissing another man the report said apollo pulled her by their hair and pushed her against a refrigerator okay she said the two of them proceeded to get into a scuffle she said she ran outside and called for help she said she went back inside to get her phone and Apollo had left. However, Apollo did come back and talk to officers. He claimed that while they were arguing, he tried to take her phone from her. He said that trying to take her phone, she bought up onto the ground to protect her phone. And Apollo said he took her phone, Chad. He said she ran outside to call for help, but he came outside and gave her back the phone. Officers said that his wife declined medical attention at the scene. The report noted that she did not have any marks or bruises that showed she was in a physical altercation. Apollo was placed in the custody and charged with domestic violence and simple assault. He was transported to the local jail and processed. Jail records obtained shows that Apollo posted a $3,000 bond and was released hours after being booked. Prosecutors charged Apollo with one misdemeanor count of simple battery, 
family violence. A hearing took place last month, but the court records do not indicate if Apollo entered a plea or has hired an attorney. So in the documents you have and all of that, I hereby charge Apollo with the offense of simple battery, family violence, a misdemeanor for that said accused in the county of Fulton, state of Georgia on. So this was in March. It's like he did not intentionally make physical contact of an insulting or provoking nature with his wife. Well, she did accuse him of pulling her hair and pushing her against a refrigerator, but he's saying that all he did was attempt to take her phone and that she threw herself on the floor, balled up on the floor, protecting her phone from him. He was still able to take her phone. Last year, Apollo asked a court to terminate his probation in his federal criminal case early. So I don't know how that's going to go now, Apollo. As sad and terrible as this is, Apollo is saying he did not do it. She's saying he did. So I do wish that both of them the best. Now, when Apollo did his interview with Carlos King, Carlos did ask him about the story that came out that Apollo allegedly been cheating on his wife. And Apollo went into details about all of that. And everything happened around the same time. The story is now coming out, right? And the dates are matching up. So his wife was accusing him of cheating. He's accusing her of cheating. The both of them do not trust each other. And the both of them are now getting into a physical altercation. Like I said, allegedly pushing her against the refrigerator and pulling her hair and all of that. That's just terrible. Especially after being there and holding it down and holding him down while he was locked up. And to come out, she probably felt like after all of that, this is what you want to do to me, cheat on me and all of that. And that's where the disagreement started. And instead of taking accountability, I'm sure it was, what about you? You did this, you did that. And then the rest. We're hearing about it now, but let me be quiet for those of you who did not watch the Carlos King interview. This is what Apollo said happened with that cheating situation. Um, so you've been in the news lately. Um, there's been some text messages released. Obviously, you and Shireen are married. Um, there were text messages revealed that you are allegedly or were allegedly cheating on your wife with another woman. Some text messages reveal some things of I love you. I'm on my way to see you. Um, this woman's talking about the perfume she's wearing. Um, there's a ring camera, Apollo, of you at this woman's house. Are you cheating on Shireen? Are you... It looks bad. It looks really bad. Is that you in the video? Yeah, that's me in the video. It looks really bad. Well, first I want to say, you know, I'm very apologetic. Um, I'm very um, remorseful for what happened and the pain that I've caused, you know, my family, or the humility more so that I've caused my family and that I caused Shireen. I know she's heartbroken, devastated by, you know, what's happened. Um, She's definitely scarred. Um, I know that. But again, it's like, uh, and just being candid, you know, uh, every relationship goes through things. You know, people go through things. From an emotional standpoint, I just feel like um, there's no excuse. I'm not making an excuse for what I did. What I did was wrong, allowing another woman that opportunity to, I didn't cheat, number one. You didn't have sex no, with the woman. I didn't have woman. sex with the woman. No, it, okay. because some people consider emotional ties cheating. You know, being emotional with someone. Some women have said, I prefer you to be, to sleep with a woman rather than telling her I love her or you're emotionally invested, you know? So I get that, you know, it was, it was wrong. So I'm not trying to, you know, make light of any of it, but no, I wasn't sleeping with the female. We never slept together. Um, it was like this. Um, I was going through a little situation on the home front you know, maybe I could have did a better, based on my experience and what's going on, I probably, we both probably could have did a better job at, or me per se, do a better job at letting Shireen know, like, look, this is how I feel. This is what's going on. I think that right now where I'm at in my life, we might need to cultivate something here because, uh, you know, I'm feeling a different, a certain way. So me and this individual, uh, we met probably like a year and a half ago like met for the first time, but we didn't exchange information or nothing like that. It wasn't until maybe June of 
23 or July of 23 that we uh, met again, exchanged phone numbers that time, and we've been talking ever since, right? So um, there was a situation that arose um, where Shireen saw the messages in my phone. Not those messages, but like messages. She was mad. It's like, oh, you're dealing with this female? I'm like, no, I'm not really dealing with her like that. You know, cool. We try to cut it off. Again, that was kind of easier said than done. We kept talking, kept doing flirting thing, kept talking. It was like, listen, I'm. she knows I'm married. She's dealing with her situation. It was like, okay, but we just kept talking, really confiding in each other. We got really close. You know, then it came to like, you might tell your friends you love them or you tell your friends you miss them. There was things in those messages that are not true, like the perfume. I never bought her any perfume for no Christmas. I didn't do that. Um, when I said something about the baby, the baby, if you look at the, under the text message, she says, Happy New Year, Happy New Year. Oh, it's gonna, then she said it's going to be a great 24. I said, yeah, it's going to be great. You're going to have a baby. LOL. And I said, I can see your face right now. I'm dying laughing because mm -hmm. she doesn't want any more kids and talks about how sometimes, you know, you want to wait till you have children and have everything in place, blah, blah, blah. I was just a joke. But it says that. It says, LOL, I can see your face right now. I'm dying laughing. This is me saying that or whatever. Um, again, not making light of it. How did it get leaked in the first place? Oh, I'm getting place? to that point. I'm oh, I'm to sorry. It. Yeah. So I'm, yeah, I'm getting. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So, um, again, you know, uh, confiding in one another, and so it got to the point where it was like, hey, you want to come over? So yeah, sure. I came over. When I came over, if you look in the video, there's no hugs or kisses in the video. It's me moving her out the way. I sit on the thing. Now, that's inappropriate. You shouldn't be at another woman's house married. I have my feet up on the so on the coffee table or the sofa as if I'm comfortable. She puts her head in my lap. Not cool. Let's just say outside of that, let's just say if we were friends and there was no text messages, are friends not allowed to interact like that? Not making excuses, but I'm just saying. I know, but it sounds like you love a comfy couch. Oh, from, yes. from this guy. <laughs> that's, that's, that's crazy. No, but it's uh, it's definitely was inappropriate. Um, mm. so so now, uh, I feel like I got caught up in a crossfire because she gets back with um her guy. She's deal now, mind you, we decided at the last text message that you see, we decided to cut it off and say, listen, let's just quit, okay? You got your situation going on. I need to work on my situation. We blocked each other. She blocked me. I blocked her. There's no way we can contact each other. That was the that was the plan. This is like a little bit in January. Mm -hmm. um, so come to find out, her guy suspects her dealing with someone else. He takes her phone. He knows her code. Listen, he takes her phone. This is another person taking the phone, right? He takes her phone. It sounds weird. But when he takes her phone, he, he's gone for 24 hours. And he goes through the phone and sees the messages between her and I. He confronts her about dealing with a married man. And she says, no, I'm not dealing with him. We're just friends. So when I said, like, I'm, I'm coming over, I'm at the door or something, mm -hmm. he takes those dates and cuts in the ring camera and goes through her ring camera because he has her phone. And then he recorded all that stuff and he found a media outlet and he leaked it to the media. That's how it got out there. It wasn't her. She didn't leak it. And how I found this out, you know how you have, um, so if you have another um, media outlet that wants to run a story or so forth, just being in this business, some of these people are kind of respectful. They yeah, might be they'll, they'll give you a heads up. Yeah, yeah. give you a heads up. Yeah. So I got a heads up by one of them. And I was just like, well, what, well we're going to see if this is, uh, what's the validity behind all this. Well, come to find out when the guy leaked the thing, they actually did a small interview with the guy based on like, well, how did you get this? You know, where did this come he from? He did an interview? Well, not necessarily an interview. I guess they 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 took notes as to how Oh, like you said, to 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 see the validity of yeah, these. Exactly. Okay, I got it. So he and basically he's telling them, got it. Yeah, he basically said, you know, that you know, he took her phone. So guys do this now. Man, it's some real girly stuff, man, that these men do, man. It's wild. That's wild. That's wild. And how is Shereen today? She's not well. She's Are not. you two still together? Yeah, we're still together. Living um, together? Yeah, we still live together. It's a little, it's rough. Not a little rough, it's rough. It's rough. Yeah, it's rough. Um, but how do you feel when people say, whatever, Shereen, you, you, that's how you got them, that's how you're going to lose them? But that's not true. A lot of people feel like, you know. <laughs> yeah. Um, you, you know, <laughs> 
because people don't know the story. They think that just because, so if, for example, if you're married on paper and you're going to get a divorce, you could be with a situation like, let's just take, you know, Shireen's sister. For, matter of fact, Shireen was married, right? She didn't finalize her divorce until maybe 2016, 2015. Shit happens, mm. right? Some people just don't want to sign or some people are, are indecisive or whatever, right? But it wasn't finalized until later. You, you don't realize, well, people don't realize that, you know, Phaedra and I continue to stay together, right? But no one broke up a happy home. The home wasn't happy. Right. Okay? It was already on the, on the outs. And if you get to that point where there's like an impasse and you just decided to go your separate way, it's, it's your business, but see, you always got the outside speculation. Everyone's always going to speculate and come up with their own narrative. And what that's for, that's not healthy. What they're coming up with a narrative is to create, again, a storyline, to continue to create drama and to impose, uh, inflict more uh, turmoil on an individual. Because these women read that stuff, you know, because yeah. she, she mentioned it before because I know she reads it. You know, it's not healthy. I don't get into that. I don't like doing that. And as you get into this business, the deeper you get into the business, you realize that that's not cultivating health a, a healthy environment for yourself it's not it, that's not giving you that so i just stay out of that realm of it okay get the stories ran i see it i was there i lived it cool clearly shireen should know that based on our relationship from the from the beginning you know where i was at in my headspace now women are very emotional and they say the damn damnedest things man i don't know where they, they i don't know where who teaches them these things that they say but Man, that shit cuts. And you, when you look at the pattern, it's like like you mentioned, okay, the couch thing, right? Even mm -hmm. if we're joking about it, but yeah, there's some similarities there. But it's not, I'm not saying like, oh, I'm not seeking to go run to this woman. I'm not going right. to, let's say, God forbid, if, uh, if Shireen and I get a divorce, God forbid, I'm not going to go be with that woman. Me and this woman, when I tell you we stopped talking and we, we like, we stopped talking. There's no thing, there's, we're not, we don't have a thing, you know, and but... Shireen in her mind She feels like it's a thing And all the time It's going to revert back to You did this to me You did that to me You know And I, I'm wrong for that um, But it, it is what it is it, it happened And like what do you do You, you either move forward or It's really simple You can't continue to We can't continue to um, Degrade one another Right Demoralize each other You know Verbally Verbal abuse Abuse um, You're going to Two things on the table There's a line in the middle You got divorce papers Or we're going to get our act together Mm-hmm it's, it's very simple. You don't want to... How are you going to work on getting your act together, but then you keep throwing all these things out here that are, you know, demeaning? No one wants to be demeaned. Nobody wants to be emasculated. None of that stuff, you know? During these times, you need support or you need to figure out, like, how to make better, you know? Yeah. The speculation is terrible. And, you know, that's not my first time having little, little situations happen. So that's what makes it even bad. I mean, that's the first time it's been publicized, but, you know, I've had little little snippets, little things that's happened in my relationship with Shireen that's not not the best. Right, which is why now, because it's so public, she's oh, yeah. dealing with it. Differently, yeah. On a different level. Well, thank you. You know, Love we want to see you back on TV. It was great seeing you, the Marriage to Medicine reunion. My last question, would you ever do reality TV again? Most definitely. I would do TV in all aspects. Now, of course, Carlos King, he's going to do TV again. That's Apollo you're talking about. Like I said, allegedly Apollo and his wife shot a few scenes with married to medicine you know because phaedra over there needs a storyline and when apollo and his wife showed up the phaedra was with the guy that she allegedly met at one of the ladies throwing their married to medicine event and we shall see if phaedra is still with that guy or not because y'all know how phaedra roll depending on how the editing goes you might see apollo or you might not see apollo and his wife they've already done some tv work together they were on couples retreat together so both of them having a few episodes on marriage and medicine to support phaedra and also make some money is not a surprise if you know their scenes make it on the show but this whole situation is terrible to hear but based on everything i have seen and heard apollo and his wife are still together working through it but Anything could happen. Like he said in the interview, it's either we're going to work through it or we're going to get a divorce. So you never know. But go get some help, Apollo, if you're out here doing that. Go get some help 
and good management. Do what you got to do if everything that I'm reading is the truth because his wife is saying he did this. Apollo is saying he did not. And so it's just a terrible situation. Anyways, I'm wishing all of you well and take care. I love. Thank you all for your love and support. If you're not subscribed to the channel, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Go ahead and leave this video a thumbs up. Also, turn on notifications so when I do post you where I post it. And I will see you all in the comment section. Remember to always have the diabetes attitude, which is being positive at all times. And seeing the good in every situation. Have a great day, guys. God bless.